We are a species with amnesia. We're children who've forgotten our own parents. If the institutions that we are living by now have created the problem, then there's a simple understanding. You cannot build a sustainable future on those institutions. We need to figure out a way to create a double ripple. If only we knew someone with a karmic calling. Imagine if your grandfather discovered that the earth was flat. Nah, too much generational trauma. They shamed this family so bad that they went and literally changed the spelling of their name. How do we get a skeptic to accept his fate? Well, luckily, he grew up going to Disney. Monarch, mind, control. Bingo. Just a little curation of his YouTube feed and a little Jolly West trip. We'll have the Denver Timekeepers Club up in no time. Oh, would you look at that? Some asshole's offering 10 grand for someone to make a conspiracy theory go viral. You tell them about the mud flood or the uh, looking glass. Because they're not ready for any of that yet. What they need to know about is your great great grandfather. You always have to start with the flat earth shit, don't you? <sighs> Saw your dad's loan shark the other day. He asked if he wanted to wear your dad's pinky as a necklace. Kind of like a rabbit's foot. How much is it? 10 grand. I'll even help you. I see you smiling over there. Better cut it out. I'm not joining your club. This is just for my dad's pinky. The earth is flat. My great-great-grandfather proved it in 1871. Aries' failure showed us that the stars move relative to a fixed earth. By first filling a telescope with water to slow down the speed of light inside, then calculating the tilt necessary to get the starlight directly down the tube, Airy unintentionally demonstrated that the earth was fixed horizontally, proving we are living on a flat earth. Oh, I'm so good, dude. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, we did it, Matt! Well, what did I just do? Created a double ripple in the space-time continuum with your post about GBA. You have been chosen to change the fate of your family and humankind. You are now a fellow timekeeper. No, 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 no. You guys can chill with that shit. I, I don't believe in any of that. You don't get to fucking choose, Mac. We used to have a one world society based on free energy and humanology until a time travel experiment went terribly wrong in 1942. An infinite ripple that caused a mud flood. It allowed the Dark Order to take control of the timeline. And now, you and Emmett have to go and activate the sirens. It's a protective energy. Activating the sirens will allow people to wake up faster and keep the looking glass on. If you fail to turn the sirens on, timekeepers will never get this chance again. A double ripple is a once in a lifetime. So you're saying we get to wear the jackets? Ha <laughs> ha. Dibs on Blue Ranger. Members only jackets. What is this? I love the 80s? Only work if there's three of them. Last time there were three. It was in the 80s. Whatever. Baby Blue is going to make my eyes pop. Take that Baby Blue and I'm going to break your hands. I'm the chosen one. I'm not wearing pink. You don't get to choose, Kimberly. A oh, pink ranger, dude. Nice. Three crystals, three temples. So, uh, how does that crystal stuff work? Vibration energy. That's some Tesla shit. That's some power of belief shit. Why is that building on top of the church? That church was one of the last active timekeepers' temples around. After the mud flood, the Dark Order began to rebuild and they started taking over mystery schools. That building was one of the only ones they couldn't get. And no one knows when it was built because it was erected from the ground overnight. Oh, fuck. Stop, they won't fight us. They're 5G bots. They'll just distort our perception and trigger our boss. 5G? Ooh, what's that? Don't call it that. It's too political and divisive to talk about. Just don't look him in the eyes, okay? Yep. Shrink our balls? Come on.
thing still works? Well, I'll be damned. Old technology still has it. Keep your head on the swivel. Small for sulfur. Ears open for a hoot, too. Why the fuck is there a clock tower in the high school? Wasn't always a high school. You all hungry? Why'd you have a raw steak in your pack, dog? Please don't stand. Now what? I'm gonna activate it. How are we gonna do that? <sighs> oh, you were fucking. Come on, start shaking it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is stupid. It has nothing to do with the dance. So you are fucking. No. You have to relax. Let go. Leave. Now let's go. We're running again? Where's your fucking DeLorean? You need a starport to time travel. You can't travel in metal. It will melt you along with time itself. Remember Philadelphia? Come on. So this is a high school? Now it is. It used to be a mystery school. Look at this repurposed shit. What are you doing? Gentlemen, Joe Rogan Experience. I'm finishing my coffee. For the flashlight. If you go to joerogan.net, click on the link that says flashlight, enter in the code name Rogan. This has to be a fucking simulation. If you fail to turn the sirens on, timekeepers will never get this chance again. Double Ripple is a once in a lifetime. It's okay, Mac. Hold on tight, buddy. Fuck it, I'll save the world on my own. In my DNA. The E is silent. Still pronounced airy. Hoot hootin', motherfuckers. I saw that you needed some help. Yeah. We must finish this before it begins. We're too late. It has begun. Thanks so much. I think you were right about changing my path. Now that I have that 10 grand, I feel like a new man. Hate to admit it, but I believe. Yeah, that's great. I kind of need your help. Can I wait till tomorrow? I need some sleep. It's kind of an emergency. We didn't just let in NPC from the future. Pack a bag. We have to go to New York City. There's a movement on the 17th that the Ripple created, too. Okay. See you soon. Who the hell gave him 10 grand? 